Hello. In this session, we will address the integrated assessment models and introduce the MEDEAS models. In the previous topic, we have seen the seriousness and complexity of the problem of sustainability. The international community has reacted in different ways to this alarm. In the case of the European Union, one of the political actions has been to promote research into energy sustainability and climate change. Within the research and innovation actions of the H2020 program, one of the calls was competitive low carbon energy. And one of the topics was modeling and analyzing the energy system, its transformation and impacts. Through this call, the Horizon 2020 program has funded four research projects. Reflex, analysis of the European energy system under the aspects of flexibility and technological progress. RIM, role of technologies in an energy efficient economy, model-based analysis policies measures, and transformation pathways to a sustainable energy system. SETNAP, navigating the roadmap for clean, secure, and efficient energy innovation. And finally, MEDEAS, guiding European policy to a low carbon economy, modeling the energy development and the environmental and socioeconomic constraints. The general objective of these projects has been to understand the complex links, interactions, and interdependencies between the different actors, the available technologies, and the impact of the different interventions on all levels, from the individual to the whole energy system. To achieve this goal, it has been necessary to provide model-based decision support tools for the different actors in the energy system in order to facilitate handling the complex system. For this reason, one of the main resources of the MEDEAS project has been the development of a set of integrated assessment models aimed to at helping decision-making on energy and climate damage. One of the fundamental objectives of this course is to facilitate the use of these integrated assessment models. But what is an integrated assessment model? An integrated assessment model, I am, is a mathematical computer model that integrates economic, technological, environmental, and social variables in order to understand the effects of some variables on others and help in political decision making in this area, these areas. Sometimes we will refer to these models as integrated energy, economy, environmental models, or E3 models. Some of the usual purpose for developing IAMs are to provide a coherent framework for organizing and assessing knowledge about climate change, to assist in the assessment of the consequences of different policy options, to understand which of the many uncertainties about the model system are most important, and to better understand the interaction between the components and the modeled system, for example, economy, technological, and environmental subsystems. Some of the most known IAMs are World 3, DICE, IMAGE, GCAM, POLS, MAGIC, MERGE, GINI3, TIMES, or YM. If there are so many IAMs, why have we developed a new one in the MEDEAS project? Each of these IAMs has different characteristics and a large field of application, but most of them have some shortcomings or limitations. The set of IAMs developed in MEDEAS project tries to overcome some of these shortcomings and provide some relevant developments. Representation of economic processes, integration of, on input-output analysis with system dynamics, consideration of geological constraints for the extraction of non-renewable energy resources, simple and transparent methodology to integrate climate change damage, assessment of mineral demand associated to the energy transition, endogenous and dynamical implementation of the net energy approach considering energy investment for the transition, EROA. All these points will be explained in later topics of this course, but it's advisable to have a previous idea about the system dynamics methodology. System dynamics is a methodology and mathematical modeling technique to understanding the nonlinear behavior of complex system over time using stocks, flows, internal feedbacks, functions, and time delays. Stocks 
are accumulations. They characterize the state of the system and generate the information upon which decisions and actions are based. Stocks give systems inertia and provide them with memory. They are represented by rectangles. Flow variables are the derivatives of the stocks. They may be in flow or are flow. The stocks are the integral of the difference between the inf its inflow and its outflow. It is represented by a bulb sign. For example, the concentration of CO2 in the atmosphere is a stock that has two flows. CO2 emissions that increase the concentration in flow and CO2 renewables that reduce the concentration of CO2 outflow. In the Medias models, there are hundreds of stocks, flows, equations, delays, and auxiliary variables. In order to understand the model, it is necessary to have a general overview of, the, of it. In later topics, each of the parts of the model will be described. The Medias models has been initially programmed with the benzene software, and subsequently have been translated into Python. Therefore, there are two versions available. In order to use benzene versions, it is necessary to have the benzene software in one of these versions, Reader or DSS. However, the Python version is open source and does not require any commercial software. The Medias models have been developed in three geographical scales, in three geographic scales, world, Europe, and country. The country models, Austria and Bulgaria only, need data provided by the European model. In turn, the European model needs data provided by the world model. The structure of these models is essentially the same, and therefore, in this course, we will focus on understanding the world model. The Medias model is conceptually organized in seven large models, economy, infrastructures, materials, land use, social and environmental impacts indicators, and climate change. The models of economy and energy are the most extensive and reach the highest degree of disaggregation. The model consists of a modular and flexible structure where each model can be expanded, simplified, replaced by another version, or new modules can be added. The figure in the slide shows the interaction between the seven modules represented by boxes. The main characteristics are economy and population. The economy of Medeas is modeled following a post-Keynesian approach, assuming disequilibrium, demand-driven growth, and supply constraints. The economic structure is captured by the integration of the input-output tables, 35 industrial sectors and households. Energy. This model includes the renewable of non-renewable energy, resources, potentials, and availability, taking into account biophysical and temporal constraints. Five types of final energy, electricity, heat, solid, gases, and liquids, and 23 primary energy sources have been considered. A wide variety of energy technologies are modeled, and the GOI is estimated. The energy infrastructure model <coughs> represents the facilities of power plants to generate electricity and heat. Climate. This model, produces, pro, pro, this, <laughs> this model projects the climate change levels due to the greenhouse gases emissions generated by the human societies, which also feedback through a damage function. Materials. Materials are required by the economy and Medeas especially tracks the material requirements for the construction and operation and management of the energy facilities, the extraction demands, and subsequently compare with the levels of the available metrics or reserves and resources. Land use. This is the less developed model of Medeas, and it mainly accounts for the land requirements of renewable energies social and environmental impacts. This model translates the biophysical results of the simulation into metrics related with social and environmental impacts. The objective of this model is to contextualize 
the implications to, for human, human societies in terms of well-being for each simulation. The economic model <coughs> demands energy from the energy model. The energy consumption produces greenhouse gases emissions that are the input of the climate model. In turn, climate change damages the economy, which is an important feedback loop. The construction of new energy facilities implies an important consumption of materials. The use of land also influences our climate. Finally, the availability of energy resources, the economy and the climate determine some of the most important social and environmental impact indicators. In order to run the models, we need to define the values of a set of inputs, hypotheses and policies that define a scenario. The scenarios are a key point to be able to properly use the models. But what is a scenario? Socioeconomic scenarios are plausible representation of future based on coherent and internally consistent assumptions about the evolution of key social and economic drivers. Examples of these drivers are economic growth, technological development, and population. They are not intended to be predictive, but they are designed to explore the application of different features. In summary, after this topic, we should be able to answer at least the following question. What is an, inter an integrated assessment model? What is the general structure of the medias models? What are the general characteristics of the medias model? What are the scenarios? In the following topics, we will describe each model of the medias models. <laughs>